What's up guys, my name is Lance and I am the filmer for the Braille channel and today I'm going to teach you how to film with a fisheye. Some of you may know what a fisheye is, some of you may not. A fisheye is basically this lens right here. It's not the camera, it's the lens. So the fisheye is a very popular lens in skateboarding for a couple of different reasons. One reason is because it makes obstacles look bigger. It makes a straight line kind of curved and it kind of blows up the central object. So if you're awling over a fire hydrant, it's going to look a lot bigger and a lot sicker. The other reason is because it's, um, it catches so much action, you can get it right up in there and see everything that's happening. It's definitely a preferred lens in filming skateboarding. So one of the crucial things you need if you're going to have a fisheye lens, you're going to need what's called a handle. This is a Cam Caddy Scorpion, and I'll show you how this thing works. The way this works is there's a screw right here and you screw this into the bottom of your camera and then you can hold it like this. I'm going to show you how this works and how to actually film with this. Alright, so now I have my skateboarder here. You can use Aaron Cairo or somebody else, just anyone who knows how to skateboard. This gives you a little bit of an example of how you're supposed to film with the fisheye. It's a little bit interesting right now because it's late in the afternoon and there's such long shadows. But uh, you can still see, you just get right up in there, you hold it pretty low, pretty close to the skater and tilt it up just a little bit. And that way you can see everything that he's doing. And I try to keep him right in the center of the frame. For a lot of cameras, you kind of try to do a rule of thirds where you keep him to the, to the right third or the left third. But for the fisheye, right in the center seems to work best. So some of the challenges that you run into, especially with this light like this, is, well, first of all, when you're filling with a fisheye, you always want the light to your back because you want the light source behind you so it's lighting up the skater so you're like that. But you see how long these shadows are and you can see in some of those shots, the shadow is almost covering the skater. And then it looks like, all right, what is the skater doing? Because it's he's so dark, it's hard to tell, right? So I told Lance, get a little bit ahead of me and then you can see that shot looks a lot better because I'm right in the sun and he's leading me. Another thing he could have done is got behind me. So any way to get out of that shadow would be, would be best. Now another common mistake that people do with the fisheye is they, they film too far away. And you can see even in some of these shots as like I'm going faster or Lance is going a little bit slower or Lance is going a little faster and I get far away from the camera, it just doesn't look so great. The best is when you're right up in there and that's, that's the whole point of the fisheye and that's why it looks so cool in some of those shots. Yeah, Aaron has trained me over the years to just get the, the lens like right close to where he's skating. So I've gotten better at that. And I just keep it there, tilted just a little bit up and I don't get scared about getting too close because this thing picks it up, so. Yeah, it can be a bit scary. You get this brand new camera, you get a brand new lens, and then you're sticking your camera right up in there, and somebody's board comes and flies and hits your camera. And I don't know what to say, sometimes that's part of it. You gotta have very fast hands to be able to go, whoa, and get it out of there sometimes. But yeah, I mean, this is definitely our second lens and we broke one already. Yeah, so anyway, the fisheye is a really, it's a must have for anyone who's skating. If you guys are, are learning how to skate or trying to make a skate video, get a fisheye and just go out there and, and start practicing and you'll get the hang of it. And watch some other videos that you like, some other skate videos, you'll probably notice that they're using a fisheye too. And watch how they film it and then just try to, try to practice it so you can get it just like that. Yeah, and these days you don't have to have a really nice camera to get a fisheye. And even if you do have a nice camera, the fisheyes have come way down in price. Back in the day, they were so expensive, only the most serious filmers could afford one. Now you can get a fisheye for your iPhone, you can get a GoPro, which is fairly inexpensive, and that just is a fisheye as its lens, and that works well. Or you can get one of these Opteca fisheyes. There's a couple different brands. Most of them are really good, so that's the fisheye. Yeah. Let us know if you guys have any other questions about filming or editing or what kind of programs you use or what kind of cameras you use or what you need help with, and we would love to make more videos like this to get you guys making better videos yourself. Yeah, like the video if you want to see more of these because, uh, you know, we're kind of thinking about doing a series. So if you guys like this video, we'll make more. Yeah, we base a lot of the videos that we make on your likes. So go ahead and give it a like if you like it. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys are the best.